number one cause of death in the United States and number one cause of disability is our diet and has since bumped tobacco smoking to number two. Smoking now only kills about a half million Americans every year, whereas our diet kills hundreds of thousands more. Meet Dr. Michael Greger, a founder and fellow of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine. Dr. Michael Greger is a physician, New York Times best-selling author, and an internationally recognized nutrition speaker. One of his most popular books, How Not to Die, lays out a daily diet blueprint that doesn't just promise a healthier life. It offers a roadmap to potentially dodge the ailments that plague our society. Dr. Greger has lectured at the Conference on World Affairs, testified before Congress, and was called as an expert witness to defend Oprah Winfrey in the infamous meat defamation case. Dr. Greger also claims that if you consume the best daily diet, you'll never be under any stress, depression, or anxiety. In today's video, we will take a closer look at Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen, a diet of the healthiest foods and servings that you should try to consume every day. We will also dive into the extensive health benefits that these foods offer. As the list of foods I try to fit into my daily diet grew, I made a checklist and had it up on a little dry erase board on the fridge, and we'd make a game out of ticking off the boxes. This evolved into my daily dozen. One, beans. Dr. Greger promotes the regular consumption of beans, forcing the importance of including them in our diet three times a day. Either it can be a half a cup of cooked beans, lentils, or tofu, or a cup of fresh peas, along with a quarter cup of bean dip or hummus, Dr. Greger emphasizes their nutritional value and asks us to consume it at least thrice a day. Source. In terms of nutrition density per penny, uh, the four that really pull out from the pack are pinto beans, lentils, black beans, and kidney beans. And all that nutritional quality may have beneficial effects on excess body weight, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, inflammation, and oxidative stress, all major cardiovascular risk factors. But why does Dr. Greger attach such importance to beans? It's because they are one of the main sources of protein, iron, and zinc, providing essential nutrients similar to those found in meat, while also offering additional benefits such as fiber, potassium, and folate. Furthermore, beans are naturally low in cholesterol and low in saturated fat. In fact, the American Institute for Cancer Research suggests incorporating beans into every meal as part of their cancer prevention guidelines. Hopefully that's enough for you to make sure you include beans in your daily routine. Two. Fruits. Dr. Greger urges his audience to incorporate fruit into their daily routine, aiming for at least three servings a day. A serving size could be one medium fruit, one cup of cut fruit, or a quarter cup of dry fruits. So if you look at the effective dose required to suppress liver, cell, uh, liver cancer cell proliferation, apples are more powerful than bananas, but cranberries win the day. However, here's the catch. Dr. Greger advises to eat any fruit, but don't consume berries and we'll explain the reasoning behind this later in the video. You can enjoy fruits like mangoes, apples, dates, kiwis, and citrus fruits, each offering its own health benefits. It's crucial to consume the whole fruit rather than just its juice, as the nutrients in fruit are often bound to the fiber, which is lost during juicing. Whole fruits can be eaten as they are, blended into smoothies, or baked for a richer flavor. Three, greens. It's common knowledge that plant-based protein mostly comes from green veggies. If you follow a vegan diet and skip out on your greens, you're doing yourself a disservice. Dr. Greger advises having greens at least twice daily. That's one cup of raw greens like cucumber and another half cup of cooked greens like veggies. Consequently, to fully exploit the complexity of the health-promoting potential of Ethiopian kale, and by extension, maybe other cruciferous, a mix of both raw and cooked vegetables should be part of the diet. Leading experts, including Dr. Greger, emphasizes the importance of consuming plenty of greens, such as spinach, for good health. A study by Harvard University found that greens had the strongest link to safeguarding against major chronic illnesses. Having a substantial salad daily is a simple way to incorporate greens into your diet, and also serves as a great base for adding other healthy foods like veggies and nuts. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by dropping your comments in the comment section. Four, flaxseed. And flaxseeds are cheaper, too, compared to even single medications, and most patients are on multiple drugs. And has good side effects beyond their antihypertensive actions, but not all good. 
Taking tablespoons of flaxseed a day is a lot of fiber for people who have been you know, living off of cheeseburgers and milkshakes their whole lives. It can take a little while for your gut bacteria to adjust to the new bounty. Flaxseed might not be on everyone's radar, but overlooking it means missing out on its numerous health benefits. Packed with soluble fiber, flax seeds can help lower cholesterol levels and guard against various diseases. To get the most out of it, it's best to grind them up as needed since eating them whole won't provide the same benefits. Incorporate flaxseed powder into your diet by sprinkling it over salads, stirring it into soups, adding it to oatmeal, or even using it as an egg substitute in baking. Dr. Greger's recommendation is simple. Taking just a single tablespoon of flaxseed into your diet a day can provide a boost to your metabolism and contribute to overall strength. So make sure not to skip including flaxseed in your diet just because it's expensive, because nothing is more important than your health. 5. Grains. In the modern age, eating oats has become a habit of many. However, representing just one type of grain is not the best of choices. Diversifying your grain intake is essential. Dr. Greger forces us to eat at least half a cup of cooked grains, pasta, corn, or a cup of cold cereal three times a day. If these options don't align with your taste preferences, alternatives like a slice of bread or tortilla, half a bagel or English muffin, or even three cups of popcorn can be included. Eat less salt, eat more nuts, eat more non-starchy vegetables, and more fruit, and finally eat more whole grains. Any particular type of whole grain? Despite concerns among those with celiac disease, Dr. Greger has scientifically demonstrated that there's no need to fear whole grains. Recent analyses have proven the longevity benefits associated with consuming whole grains, irrespective of other lifestyle and dietary choices. While a simple switch from white bread to whole wheat is a step in the right direction, incorporating nutrient-rich grains like quinoa and barley into your diet can further enhance your overall nutrition. And to even convince you more, Eating oats is Dr. Greger's favorite morning breakfast. 6. Berries In the fruit section, you may have noticed the absence of berries, and that's because they deserve a category of their own. Berries stand out for their exceptional nutrient density among fruits. According to Dr. Greger, just adding one half cup of fresh berries or a quarter cup of frozen dried berries into your diet once in a day can offer significant immune-boosting benefits. Moreover, they contribute to the protection of vital organs like the brain and liver, and there's promising evidence suggesting they may even play a role in cancer prevention. Berries are the healthiest fruits, and this study analyzed more than 100 different berries and berry products. A large-scale study revealed that individuals who consumed the highest quantities of berries had a notably reduced risk of cardiovascular disease-related mortality. 7. Cruciferous Vegetables don't let the name cruciferous vegetables intimidate you, as they're likely already a part of your diet. These veggies include broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, arugula, and more. Including just a quarter cup of chopped Brussels or broccoli sprouts, along with a tablespoon of horseradish, can provide you with tremendous health benefits. How about eating green leafy vegetables? In fact, the healthiest kind, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, collards, and kale, they pitted a raw versus cooked and found that cooked was better than raw for reducing DNA damage from a carcinogen, but raw was more anti-inflammatory. Dr. Greger says that these veggies, especially broccoli, are superstars for good reason. They're packed with sulforaphane, a natural compound that helps fight cancer and keeps diseases at bay. Plus, they're great for your brain and eyes, can ease allergy inflammation, and help manage type 2 diabetes. For maximum sulforaphane power, chop up your broccoli, or cauliflower about 40 minutes before cooking and let it sit. If you're in a rush, a dash of mustard powder can speed up the process. 8. Nuts. You've probably already guessed it. We're talking about nuts and seeds. Having just a quarter cup of nuts or seeds, or two tablespoons of nut or seed butter, can give you a quick energy boost. Packed with protein and healthy fats, nuts make for the perfect on-the-go snack. Plus, when ground up, they add a creamy texture to sauces. What about the consumption of a high-fat whole plant food like nuts? We know higher telomere-building enzyme activity is associated with a higher dietary antioxidant score, and botanically, seeds are packed with antioxidants. And by seeds, they mean any food you can put in the ground and sprout a whole plant, like whole grains, beans, chickpeas, lentils, nuts. Walnuts in particular are a standout choice. They boast high levels of antioxidants and omega-3 fatty acids, 
making them a top contender for preventing cancer. Mix them up with some dried fruit and you've got yourself a convenient way to meet more of your daily dozen while on the move. 9. Spices When it comes to spices, don't let the term throw you off. While some spices might not be the healthiest choice, there are gems like turmeric that offer immense health benefits. Having just a quarter teaspoon of turmeric into your daily routine can work wonders for your well-being. Unlike other categories, this one gives you the freedom to use the spices you enjoy in the amounts you prefer. So, whether it's ginger, cayenne pepper, cilantro or peppermint, feel free to spice up your life. I also encourage people to eat a variety of herbs and spices today, specifically singling out turmeric. Um, uh, turmeric, there's been more than 50 randomized controlled trials pitting turmeric against a variety of diseases, brain disease, lung disease, a variety of cancers. It can make colon polyps disappear, speed recovery after surgery, and treats rheumatoid arthritis as good as the leading drug of choice. Can also help uh, treat other inflammatory conditions such as lupus, inflammatory bowel disease. I recommend a quarter teaspoon of turmeric every day. However, there's one non-negotiable rule in Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen. Ensure you're getting your quarter teaspoon of turmeric each day. Its health benefits are simply too significant to overlook. To enhance absorption, don't forget to sprinkle in a pinch of black pepper. 10. Beverages When it comes to beverages, it's essential to steer clear of sugary drinks that offer little to no nutritional value. Dr. Greger suggests that while water is great for hydration, you can pack even more nutrients into your body by opting for coffee and certain types of tea. Instead of reaching for soda or cow's milk, consider green tea, rooibos tea, chai tea, or even hot chocolate to meet your daily quota of five cups. To add to your excitement, you have the freedom to choose from a variety of beverages. Just ensure that you consume them a total of five times throughout the day. The findings were classified into three categories, protective, neutral, or deleterious. First up, tea versus coffee. Right? In both cases, most reviews for whichever condition they were studying found both beverages to be protective. Staying hydrated is crucial for reducing the risk of diseases such as heart disease and bladder cancer. Plus, it can also boost your cognitive function and mood. So, don't forget to drink up and make choices that not only quench your thirst, but also nourish your body. 11. Exercise Exercise is undeniably crucial for maintaining overall health and well-being. Even if you're following a diet rich in the recommended foods, it won't be as effective without regular physical activity. Dr. Greger suggests aiming for 40 minutes of vigorous activity or 90 minutes of moderate activity each day, which he includes in his daily dozen recommendations. The same cannot be said for water-based exercise. In contrast to walking, in contrast to running, and in contrast to cycling, swimming can significantly heighten hunger within hours. However, it's worth noting that these exercise guidelines may not be sustainable for everyone in the long term. Each individual has different levels of endurance and time constraints. Instead of fixating on specific durations or specific routines, it'll be much better if you incorporate movement into your daily life in a way that feels achievable and enjoyable. Whether it's taking a brisk walk, doing household chores, or engaging in recreational activities, the key is to keep your body moving consistently without feeling pressured to adhere to strict exercise regimes. 12, B12, and vitamin D3. You might feel like you've wandered into a chemistry lesson with this title, but it's actually quite straightforward. B12 and vitamin D3 are essential vitamins. While they aren't part of the main recommendations in the Daily Dozen, you might have noticed them mentioned at the bottom of Dr. Greger's chart as a footnote. These vitamins are crucial because many people struggle to get enough of them, regardless of their dietary habits. There are three groups of people who should ensure they have a regular, reliable source of vitamin B12 by supplementing their diet with vitamin B12 fortified foods or vitamin B12 supplements. Those who've had bariatric surgery, uh, which can sometimes impair absorption, those eating plant-based diets, and the more than 100 million Americans older than age 50. If you are interested in trying out Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen lifestyle, check out our Daily Dozen Meal Planner Notion template in the description below to jumpstart your journey. Now, if you're someone who wants to learn even more about nutritious foods that will ward off disease, watch my next video where I'll cover five snacks that prevent and kill cancer according to Dr. William Lee.